Hi, welcome to show 161. We're obviously still dressed the same as last week because, well, you know, we're smelly and weird. Yeah, you um, might see a green little dot at the bottom of the screen as well. I don't know what that's there. It's an alien, we think, but again... Oh, oh possibly a ghost. Uh, yeah, this is a different camera than we normally use, so actually we look all right, <laughs> as we normally do. Um, this is it's, lovely. Yeah, this is a nice, cheap and cheerful one that uh, picked up at the boot sale. I think it was Saturday. Yeah. Anyway, it's this. And it's Tony Osborne's three brass buttons, brass and ivory, and this track is called Soul Street by him. Brilliant. Yeah, this uh, was one of his tracks. Every now and again, you go in the shop and Chris will play you something. You think, oh, I'll buy that. No, you can't buy it because he wants it himself. Well, I went straight from the boot sale to the yeah. shop, and it's just happened to be in my bag, and I played it to you first. It's lovely. It sounds like Ramsey Lewis. <laughs> yeah, but British and cheeky. Yeah, <laughs> cheeky Ramsey Lewis. Cheeky old Ramsey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, wicked. There's actually about three or four good tracks on this as well. There's this one, there's one track called Ali Barber, and another one by him called Brass and Ivory, believe it or not. Uh, it's wicked, really and cool. And it's cheap, you say, Chris. Well, yeah, I don't think it's hard to pick up. I'm pretty sure you can probably get one for about three or four pounds on Discogs or something like that, but it's, uh, it's nice. Yeah, so there you go. He's on the front there, Tony Osborne with plenty of trumpets. That's right, he can blow, let me tell you, Tony can blow. He certainly can blow, um, and uh, and well, apparently, but um, he's in a bit of a b-boy pose as well, well, it looks a bit, it's a bit like Run DMC, yeah, but, you yeah, know, yeah. yeah. He also looks like uh, Robert Shaw a little bit in uh, Jaws. Yeah, yeah. He's telling stories about uh, 1941. Exactly. Sharps attacks. That's right. Anyway, yeah. so we've got a nice little 45 coming up next. He's actually a pianist, Tony, as well, by the way. He, does, he, he may not blow, so... Yeah, be cute. but, 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 but he, uh, he does like a 7-inch pianist. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. A <laughs> 7-inch pianist right there. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Yeah. You couldn't write this shit. You couldn't write this shit. Yeah, you it, really yeah. couldn't. Anyway. Fuck you, have yeah. I? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the next up, we've got a lovely little seven uh, by the Fame Gang. Uh, both sides are really good, actually, but let's go with grits and gravy. Why not? Did you say this is grits and gravy? Grits and gravy by the Fame Gang on Fame. I've never had grits. No, me neither. But I want to now. They don't look appealing. They don't. Well, is it corn cornmeal? Yeah, it's like yeah. fried cornmeal or something. It sounds alright. It's like cornmeal bread. Yeah, I like cornbread. Yeah. Anyway, wicked little track, then. I'm a big fan of gravy. Though. Gravy? I like dark gravy. You know, like you get the chicken gravy. Yeah, right. I can't really like that. I like the dark, like meaty gravy. Mm, I like that. I don't mind that. Not too much. I like to roll condiments with my Sunday roast. Right? I like a little bit of dark gravy, but usually horseradish or mustard, that's what I like. I like a lot of gravy. Yeah. Yeah, tons of it. Onion, onion gravy, everywhere. Like lash. All onion gra- oh, I like onion gravy, yeah. But with, ma- with sausage and mash. Yeah. Do you know what, though? I had, um, I had pie and mash the other day. When I was young and I lived in town, the centre of town, I used to have a lot of pie and mash. And he was a cheeky cockney. <laughs> but there was, I remember there was a gap when we lived in Greenwich, there was a gap of 25p for pie and mash. Yeah, for kids' portions. Yeah, and so I used to get it off the school. That's how old Brad is. That's how old I am. <laughs> and just after the war. <laughs> <laughs> just for rationing ended. <laughs> but I went and had some um, the pasty liquor the other day at one of them square pie shops. Oh, yeah. And they got it. It was definitely wrong. I know I haven't had it in a long while, but it was, it was shit. They yeah. don't do it right. Yeah. So, well, there you go. You've, done, you've learned a lot about pie and gravy. Um, yeah. We well, sound northern. We do. Yeah. Anyway, this is grits and gravy. This is so. grits and gravy. Yeah. With the break. Lovely. Very nice. Uh, next up, we've got Lynn Collins. Um, now, this is a track that probably she's not really well known for, but I really like it. There we go. Yeah, she's thinking about London. She is. It's a foggy day and everybody's Oh, bless you, Lee. Nobody's yeah. She could have done this like with a Dick Van Dyke style action. I thought she was over the dick then, but no, no. A foggy, foggy day and everybody's 
Yeah, the best version of A Foggy Day uh, ever by uh, Miss Lynn Collins. It's a lovely uh, yeah, people record, obviously. She's even in like, like a pearly queen on the back, look. She's got like a pearly dress on that. Yeah, she does, which is Gemini. Yeah, she's got a pearly dress Yeah, brilliant, lovely. Yes, I did. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's very, very nice. Yeah. Very nice indeed. Anyone going to see Jurassic Park in the cinema? Right? You just need to, you can always watch us first. They're making dinosaurs in the shed. It's a real ostrich egg, that is. A real raptor egg. Like raptor egg, yeah. Brad squeezed it out earlier. <laughs> Have to do it like in, in airplane. Yeah. Right. We can have it for breakfast. Yeah. Cool. Next yeah, week I'll be at Johnny Nash. Johnny Nash, yeah. <laughs>
bring your little album, right? I wonder right. what you're all doing now. I mean, figured that you'd be having your record played by a couple of strange jeans in the shade in 2000. In, in, in the outskirts of London. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. like this. Anyway, yeah, from this uh, swinging band, we're going to go to a bit of Jimmy Moo Chris. Yes, we are. Uh, yeah, killer, killer album. And I picked it up this morning at a boot sale. Bang on. Anyway, we're going to play one of the tracks, and then obviously there's a break on the album as well. So we'll probably sneak that in. <coughs> yeah, Blue Juice by Jimmy McGriff. And yeah, what, what, nice to see one of these beautiful English presses off. Who have used this recently? I think it might be Mr. Danny Spice. And, well, he did it as well. Shed Friend. Shed Friend, yeah. He's been a bit quiet on the old post at the moment. He's a busy man. He's a busy man, yeah. yeah. Um... It's a nice picture, that's a cool picture. I'm not sure the lady is on the front though. Cool it through the bar. Yeah. Doing the worm. Doing the worm, yeah. It's not very well. Yeah, the best looking worm I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, anyway, talking to the worm. Yeah, let's go and play that, shall we? Not our break of the week, but hey. Yes. Break. There you go. Anyway, so this is actually our break of the week now. Nice. This is the Funk House Express Disco Team. Disco Records. And the other side actually sounds really like Cool in the Gag as well. Nice, nice little 45 this. We've got a break at the beginning of it as well, actually. And uh, it's probably probably played a version of it oh, before. We have, we have we've played it. So, so this, is a, this is a great, great uh, version. Great tune, this.